Aaliyah Beauty back with another video. If you're new here, obviously you could tell. My name is Aaliyah, and if you're not, welcome back, my beautiful subscribers. Don't mind my nails. I still can't get these two nails off, but that's not the point of the video. In today's video, I'll be doing a how to create an advanced intro on your iPhone. I have the iPhone 11, 11 currently, so it's best if you have like an updated phone, like I would say from the X. XR and up Like if you're the X XX my whatever whatever y'all know y'all know what I'm saying It'll be better to do it because like on lower phones like the 6 plus and all of that it was I couldn't be able to do it on my phone personally for that I'm, I'm just saying that from My perspective, but if it works for you it works for you. So yeah, I'm finally doing how to make the advanced intro So I hope you guys enjoy this video So first y'all now I'm about to start showing y'all, like, you got to have your pictures ready and stuff like that. So these are all the pictures and videos and stuff that I have for this intro. These are, like, the green, green stuff, like, the follow, the subscribe, and, like, the sparkles. I didn't... Y'all see it when I go back <laughs> when I'm editing this. So now we're about to go on... Oh, I'm about to just show y'all pretty much how I got this stuff. I pretty much just searched it up on YouTube or whatever, screen recorded it, and then, you know, like, kind of crop it because, you know, those stuff pop up, like the tab stuff. So, yeah. Don't mind the cars in the background. They want to be ghetto today. You know how it is. But, yeah, um, <laughs> these are just all the green screen stuff that I'm showing you guys. What's next? The sparkle. Wait, no. Is that sparkles? The subscribe button, actually. Sorry, guys. This video is going to be a little bit ghetto. But, yeah. Next, we're about to start. I'm going to pick art. I'm going to cut out one of her pictures. So, this is a picture I picked out of all the pictures she sent me or whatever. So we're just gonna press cut out or whatever, you know. And like whatever I see that needs to be like restored. Like you see, like it left out a little piece of her hair in the front. And then you're gonna see in a couple minutes it left out a little bit of her butt cheeks. So you know, we can't leave that out, you know. You gotta show you gotta show the fatty, cause you know, show the little baddie. Finish your lyric. It's like nah. So now after I do this. This is how it came out. I save it to my gallery. Then I go and I click add a photo. And then I click on this, that same thing that I cut out. Then I put it on top of here. And then I add a border. A white border. Da -da -da -da. There we go. That's the white border. I made it a little bit thin because you don't want the white border too thick, you know. So, after I do that, I save it, of course. After we save that, that's when the art begins. Like, now. Nah. So, now we're going to go to iMovie. And the background that I used for her um, <laughs> intro, I pretty much just... Made it stay still because, like, you know, when you do the iMovie, it, like, it moves the picture when you add a picture. So, I made it, like, you know, stay still or whatever. And then now I'm about to just drag it to, like, enough minutes for the intro. And then after I do all of this, I save it. Any day now, save faster. Okay, so now that it's saved, we finna go to video, VLO. I was about to say video leak. VLO. And then I'm about to just change, like, make the picture that I cut out a little bit, like, light. I'm going to change, what is it called? Opacity. I'm going to scale it down to, like, towards, like, 30, I think I did. Or, like, 20-something. You see what I'm doing, y'all? And after I do that, save it, of course. 
Sorry, commercial trying to get some clout for my YouTube. No, baby. And now we're going to Video Leap, and this is where the magic begins. Uh, I pretty much used Video Leap for pretty much the whole project, if you say that. If you say so. The intro, I'm saying project. But now, this is the background I use. Then we're going to add the pictures. So, yeah, I have a little trick for this app because you have to kind of pay for for it. Well, not really pay for it. It's free. But, like, it, you have to, like, they want you to pay for pro and all this other type of stuff. So, y'all going to see the little method I do. It's going to take up a lot of your storage. So, make sure make sure you have a lot of storage on your phone. So, you see that little thing that pop up right there? If that pops up, then delete whatever you added on there and, and like delete it and then just save it and then add it back on after but as you can see i tried to get rid of the back black background and I, it didn't work out so i just ended up um going to eraser and then i just erased it, the black background and i came back did it again and it worked as you can see see I had to make sure it's saved or whatever. Oh yeah, I had to screenshot it because when you do Velo, it like it goes into a video type. So I had to screenshot it and then do the eraser. Yeah, now it's saved. And then we're back on video leap. And now I'm gonna add it on to this. But I'm not going to add it on right now because, you know, you got to pay for Pro and all that other stuff. So, right, what you do here, you just save it as. You positioned it. I just added, um, like, an effect to it. So, if you want an effect for it to, like, slide up, come to the left or whatever, anything like that, you can do that. Yeah. I ended up having to delete that. So, see, look. I make it, like, fade in. And then now I'm saving it. And then we go to new project. And we basically did what I just explained a while ago. Now we're going to add like the faded type part. The one that I changed the opacity. Where you at, boo? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now we finna, I'm going to position it. And I'm going to do like the same effect that I did for the first one which was fade in. Y'all pretty much get it, right? So I'm going to speed this part up.
so right here as y'all can see when i had did like the green screen thing to like make the white go away it didn't work so now i'm just showing y'all a way that y'all can use for like the white screen part well the checkerboard thing to go away which was pretty much i use eraser and yeah now i'm gonna just start on the um next part which is the social media part because i don't want you guys to get kind of confused so this is why i'm talking right now so pretty much i'm just gonna be doing the social media part of the intro and yeah let's start back this music <laughs> So this part I know you're gonna kind of be confused but pretty much you make the you get the video or picture you try to make it wide enough to where you know the, it's gonna fit the phone and you just put the phone like on top of it and press like chroma so you could get rid of the white screen and that's pretty much it it's not that much <laughs> Okay, y'all, so with this part now, you just pretty much do kind of like what I did 
earlier you just use chroma get rid of the um green you move it down like the density down or whatever so you won't see the green no more and like you just pretty much play around with this part and move it around to your liking to see like how you like it you get rid of like anything you know y'all should know is this is pretty much self-explanatory you can see and then yeah i'll hit y'all back later so let's get the music rolling <laughs> now with this part this part is pretty much easy you just get a picture or get a video you press mask and it shows you like squares triangle or a circle you pretty much press the circle obviously because the circle of the follow thing for instagram i mean the thing for the yeah i get what i'm saying the thing for the instagram is a circle so obviously you gotta pick a circle and you make it to your liking where you gotta show the face and like make the circle tinier smaller however you want it to look you know so yeah. now i'm finna start working on like her business page for her instagram or whatever so now i'm just like pretty much using velo spreading it out like to where it's like 16 and 9 so y'all can see it on youtube whatever y'all know that's the um length or whatever so i'm just pretty much stretching it out and i'm gonna add like the background that i used for the intro over it as y'all can see now the background is on it and then y'all gonna pretty much see what i do next so let's play the music Thank you.
As you can see, I'm working on the Snapchat part now of the intro. I'm just coming to y'all so y'all could know and y'all won't look, you know, like, even though y'all probably like halfway in the video and y'all kind of get the gist now. I hope this video helped y'all, by the way, because this is a lot of editing I'm doing right now. I've been editing this video for the, the whole day. Not going to hold y'all, but let me stop bothering y'all. I'll let y'all finish watching this video. So, yeah.
So, y'all probably wondering what I'm doing right here, but I felt like I needed to add a little bit of glitter and sash to the intro. So, I just added, like, a little bit of glitter effect, sparkle effect with the Velo app. So, yeah. Right now I'm finna just start putting all the clips together that I done creating in Video Leap, Zelo, and all of that. I'm just finna put them together, add animations like make it turn, spin, go down, go up, and y'all get the point. So let's just get into it and this will be the last time I'm talking to y'all. So yeah, enjoy this.
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and don't forget to put press that notification bell and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you because <laughs> i had to, i'm not gonna lie to you i had to watch videos to myself to learn but now it's like i just got it from the top of my head i just basically freestyle it myself so yeah if y'all wanted to specifically look like that like how i did it for my friend because i did this intro for my friend for her youtube then yeah and if y'all want um me to show y'all how to do well basically y'all don't need to really know how to do the outro outro is basically the same thing but it's just a little shorter so yeah you could do this you could basically kind of follow the same steps for the outro but the only thing is that it's just shorter so yeah thank you guys for watching